Hey all, hope you all are good. Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss about airflow.configuration file. So let's begin. So in this video, we will be seeing what is airflow.configuration file and why it is useful. So this file in Apache Airflow is the primary configuration file for Airflow system. It contains how um, how the airflow would behave and contains various information such as database connection information logging configuration uh, executor setting and various other parameters so let's see where it is present and how we can utilize it so in the default uh, directory where airflow is installed you can see airflow.cfg file is present so this is the main configuration file uh, for airflow so when we will you, uh, be seeing it it will be something like this so I have copied it into my local and let's see its configuration one by one so at first we will see the core section so in line number seven you can see this DAX folder so this is the default directory where DAGs will be stored and will be passed in airflow any DAGs present outside this directory will not be passed and will not be reflected in Airflow UI. If we uh, go to line number 36, here you can see default time zone. So default time zone is UTC. Now moving to the next parameter that is executor. So by default executor that is being set is sequential executor for executing your task in sequential order. There are other executor present as well, such as local executor, Celery executor, Kubernetes executor, which is responsible and can be helpful if you want to run the task in parallel. Moving to the next parameter that is parallelism. So it defines the max number of tasks that can run in parallel, which is set to 32. Then a max active task per DAG. So it denotes the max number of tasks instance allowed to run concurrently in each DAG. So a 16 task can run parallelly in DAG. Then DAGs are paused at creation which is default set to true. So when the DAGs uh, are being passed by scheduler and reflected in Airflow UI by default it will be in paused state. Max active runs per DAG which is set to 16 so when um, uh, at uh, so it denotes at max 16 DAG run can takes uh, uh, take place uh, in parallel so then comes load example which is set to true which denotes by default all the uh, sample DAGs which comes by default when you install airflow will be reflected then comes the plugin folder so it is the path for the custom created uh, plugins that we have created for one project if we scroll down more Here we can find uh, the database connection. Okay, so by default, SQL Acme connection will be set to SQLite when your executor will be set to uh, what you can say uh, to uh, sequential executor. If we are setting up local executor or any other executor, you need to change it to Postgre or any other database so that which allows parallel processing. So by default, SQL engine encoding is UTF-8. Okay. And uh, moving to the next parameter, that is logging. So the base log folder where your logs will be stored is this. Then remote logging is set to false. By default, Airflow will store the logs in your local. Coming to the next parameter such as remote log on ID, 
Google की पात रिमोट बेस लॉग फोल्डर विल बी हेल्पफुल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टोर आवर लॉग्स इन एनी ऑफ द क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म और एनी अदर सर्वर्स देन दिस पैरामीटर एनक्रिप्ट एस थ्री लॉग्स वेन यू वॉन्ट टू स्टोर दियोर लॉग्स इन एनी क्लाउड स्टोरेज सो बाई डिफॉल्ट इट इज सेट टू फॉल्स लॉगिंग लेवल कैन बी सेट टू इन्फो एर वार्निंग और डी बग सो बाई डिफॉल्ट इट इज सेट टू इन्फो देन कम दी सैलरी लॉगिंग लेवल वेन वी आर यूजिंग एक्सक्यूटर एस सैलरी दिस वुड बी हेल्पफुल then comes the log format so your log form for when the logs will be created it will be stored in this format which is set to by default in this format if you scroll bit more down here you can see operator section so by default the owner of each dag will be airflow then coming to the web server part so the base url where the web server can be accessed is localhost at port 8080 and default ui time zone is set to utc format and the web server port is 8080 coming to the uh, other configuration such as dag default view so by default when you open the dag the default view will be set to uh, grid which can be changed to uh, graph duration grand line then comes the dag orientation so by default the dag ori orientation is set to left to right coming to the other configuration so then comes the email so by email uh, configuration we can send the mails uh, using the smtp protocol so these are the keys for setting up the smtp so smtp port is 25 smtp mail from here we can update the mail from which the email will be sent then comes the scheduler part so yeah so here you can see the min file process interval so uh, by this uh, this parameter that it is it denotes the duration after which the dag file should be passed and reflected in airflow ui coming to the other parameter that is dag uh, dir list interval it denotes uh, after how many seconds that a uh, scheduler will parse the dag to find out if any new file is present or any update uh, updated file or dag which needs to be passed and reflected to the airflow ui is present at last we will be seeing this parameter that is catch up by default which is set to true so what it denotes so the dag will start dag filling when we start unpause our dag and it will run from the start date defined in the default arguments of the dag to the current date so if it is set to true dag will be run from the uh, start date at every scheduled interval until the current date is achieved so these are the uh, all conf important configuration other configuration we will be seeing as we moved ahead and will make progress in airflow